All right, baby, this is it, the start of the Super Bowl. We're headed to the Super Bowl, baby. everybody and welcome into the Cardinals football studios on 3TV. Tim Ring alongside former Cardinal and Pittsburgh Steeler Mitch Berger. Mitch Berger with us uh, from North Delta of course and uh, former NFLer. Mitch Berger, Canadian guy, punted in the NFL for years, two-time Pro Bowler, Super Bowl champion uh, in the Super Bowl two years ago with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Super Bowl <laughs> champ Mitch Berger who's joining us now to tell us what he thinks is going to happen for the Super Bowl coming up you, on Feb 4th. How are you? Doing uh, very well. Doing very well. They still run the show the same way in Pittsburgh. Um, you know, Mike Tomlin, you know, he runs a very tight crew. Ben has to be good at scrambling. Um, and that's what I thought was the Jets in the NFC Championship game. I thought they might beat him because the offensive line wasn't so good. Being an athlete is equated with wealth. So when you go out in public, do you have to handle yourself a little different? differently? Do you, are you mindful about where you go now in public? The first thing I wanted to do when I, was, when I became an NFL player was I wanted to celebrate my wealth. I wanted to go out. I was the first at the club. You might not, you might not think it by a guy like me, no, but I was you, the huh? first guy out. I was the last guy home. And, you know, I really wanted to show people that what I was doing. I wanted to enjoy it. I wanted to get the, the fringe benefits, if you will, from being an NFL player. But now you have to think twice. You just can't do that. You have to stay a little reserved, enjoy your circle, and you have to watch those people in the outer circle without being a jerk to people. But you've got to make sure that you don't invite the wrong people into your group, and you have to be careful. Appreciate you personalizing it and being honest. Mitch Berger, Arizona Cardinals. All right, folks, let's send it back to New York and Glenn Adamo. They're trying to find something. I mean, he's not doing nothing. I know he's staying in. I've talked to a bunch of those guys. They're, they're, they're trying to make a mountain out of a molehill for a guy going out for dinner and a few drinks with a couple of boys on the team. That's one of the things that brings the Pittsburgh Steelers together, going out, having a good time, camaraderie. That's one reason why they're such a good team, because they do spend time together. I'm sure what he's doing is not going to hurt the team. If anything, it's just it helps them relax a little bit and get ready for the game. As did Aaron Rodgers. He didn't throw that great in the, in the uh, NFC Championship game. Sure. But Aaron Rodgers actually is probably, like they say, the, most, the second most athletic quarterback in the NFL behind Michael Vick. You know, you never see a Pittsburgh Steeler alone. They're always together. They always run as a crew, and they always play for each other. And... Uh, they just love playing for that organization. They love to be together, and it's just, it's, it's a very close knit bunch. Jay Cutler, uh, of course, uh, quarterback for the Bears. Man, he just got ripped yeah. when he sat down in the game. Uh, yeah. What's your opinion on this whole thing? Well, you know, it's, he's got a, he had a sprained knee ligament. I mean, yeah. he only knows what he can handle with his knee. Certain positions you can get by in a game, you can brace it up, and you can make it if maybe you don't have a lot of movement. But in that game, he was getting killed. They weren't protecting him, he was getting hit all yeah. game. Something people don't know about uh, uh, Brett here is in the last Super Bowl, the one that I was involved in when we won, he is the guy who recovered the fumble to win the game. Have you gotten much credit for that, or is it all pretty much just San Antonio Holmes, Lamar Woodley making the sack at the end? Do people actually realize that you recovered the fumble I to get, secure the victory? I get credit. You know, Woodley tells me all the time, he's like, when am I getting my ball back? When are you going to give me that ball? Because he actually forced the fumble. But I asked him after the game, I said, Wood, do you want this ball? I will give it to you. And he said, no, man, you can have it. But now he's trying to go back on his word, just like Woodley, you know. It's sad, really. But it was a big play. I think Mitch should give me his, his Super Bowl ring, don't you? <laughs> I'm not giving this thing away to nobody. He's got a chance to win three right now, which is amazing.